statute in Wisconsin that defines the rules when lawyers review cases. The rule of thumb they use is if the ice or snow has been there for more than 24 hours. Also tonight, a burglary suspect is behind bars after he allegedly kicked out the window of a moving Green Bay squad car. Police believe the suspect broke into the El Ranchito store on Webster Avenue early this morning. Police are also investigating two armed robberies at gas stations, but they cannot say right now if that man is tied to those incidents for sure. Fox 11's Bill Miston has more. Green Bay police say shortly before 7 o'clock Sunday night, a man decided to make a stop at this East Mason Street Express convenience store to rob it. Police wouldn't say how much money the suspect got away with, but believe the person to be connected to another armed robbery of another express store on South Ashland Avenue. That one happened at about 11 o'clock Sunday night. About three hours later, a Green Bay police officer patrolling here in the 200 block of South Webster Avenue noticed that the front door of the El Ranchito Mexican Market was broken. And as he spun around uh, to check it out, he also noticed someone heading down the street. He weighed his options, went after you know the, the person he saw. Um, and that led to our, our burglary suspect. Green Bay police brought the man in for questioning and eventually transferred him to the Brown County Jail. But it was on the way to jail where things got interesting. The suspect allegedly kicked out the back window of the patrol vehicle he was in and jumped out of it while it was moving. And it took literally seconds for him to do what he did. Police say the handcuffed suspect ran into the woods, but was found by a canine unit a few minutes later. He wasn't out for but a few minutes. Green Bay Police Captain Bill Galvin says the suspect was handcuffed and buckled in. He was able to slip his hands cuffed behind his back into in front, laid on his back, kicked out the window. He is now in Brown County Jail on recommended charges of burglary, escaping arrest, obstruction, and criminal property damage, but has yet to be formally charged. Investigators cannot say if the man is connected to the two armed robberies. We're looking into that. But is asking for the public's help. You never know how these things can unravel and lead to other things or to give us the evidence we need to actually make the conviction. Standard what Galvin is certain about is how much money the department is out to replace the window, about $350. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Now, the department's newer squad cars have bars on the windows to prevent window damage from happening. The suspect, by the way, is scheduled to appear in Brown County Court tomorrow.